How about them Cowboys? Ooh, wait! Through this opening five game stretch, America's team has an offense that's looked all but impossible to stop. Carving open opponents on the ground and through the air, Kellen Moore has these defenses shook, leaving coordinators unable to supply any answers to the constant barrage of questions that his offense asks of them. Ranking second in yards, second in points, and top five in both yards per attempt and yards per catch, not a soul has been capable of slowing down the Cowboys offense so far this season, and we're going to tell you why. On just about any given play, Kellen Moore is looking to isolate his premier talent one-on-one -on -one and pick on that defender. The NFL has become a matchup league, and if you can find ways to play one-on-one, -on -one, it doesn't matter what the defensive coordinator or the rest of the defense tries to do. When you have two special talents at receiver in Amari Cooper and CeeDee Lamb, these single matchups can lead to instantaneous touchdowns. Here against the Bucks, Moore gets Amari Cooper a mismatch with a clever motion. Cedric Wilson is going to motion back and forth across the formation and it appears Ross Cockrell has him in man. However, this motion is actually a decoy to set up a quick pass to the flat, leaving Cockrell to get caught in the wash if covering Wilson. The Bucks smartly pass this off with Jamel Dean coming down to take away the flat and Cockrell switching on to Amari Cooper. Moore knew that this is how the Bucks would play this, running Cooper on a corner route, giving him outside leverage on the undermatched corner and its curtains for the Bucks secondary. Again, in trips formation, they send Wilson on a return motion, but this time it's the solo side where they've got a mismatch. Dak spots he has CeeDee Lamb one-on-one -on -one in press man against James Bradbury and knows where he's going with the ball. Watch Dak make sure to hold the single high safety with his eyes to open up the throw, and it's six more for the boys. While the Giants are attempting to run a 3-3 coverage here, Moore doesn't care, forcing the corners into solo coverage due to the play and formation. Moore calls a play-action max protect shot from 12 personnel, isolating the corners out wide with no chance of help and giving Dak all the time he needs to make the throw. This time he picks on a Dory Jackson with a beautiful ball to Cedric Wilson. And it doesn't have to just be outside corners you isolate. Here, Moore picks on the Panthers outside linebacker Sam Franklin, freezing him into indecision. The Cowboys are going to fake the stretch left, forcing Franklin to shift that way to cover his gap, but this leaves him behind the man he's supposed to cover, and Schultz walks in untouched. With Kellen Moore scaring the league with spread out formations and vertical concepts, the Cowboys have seen a substantial amount of cover four this season, with defenses determined to not get bombed into oblivion. Kellen Moore, however, is too good for your petty quarters coverage. Knowing they're in cover four, Cooper runs his route close to the linebacker to force him to drift inside, then sits down his route in front of the middle safety, forcing him down to cover him. Elliott then darts out, forcing the hook curl linebacker into the flat, leaving a one-on-one -on -one battle between Lamb and Asante Samuel Jr. CD cooks him with a beautiful post corner, and it's time to say goodbye to ASJ's ankles. Bye. Very similar to the play we looked at against Carolina, Moore picks on the weak side backer in this cover four. He uses Cooper in the condensed formation to run off Carlton Davis, and Levante David is forced to track back the play action, leaving nobody in the same area code as Schultz. Here, Moore picks on Darius Slay's aggressiveness, leading to another wide open touchdown. Cooper runs a post, Schultz runs a wheel, and Pollard swings to the flat. Amari's post is designed to hold the inside safety, putting Slay into a bind. He doesn't want to give up the wide open catch and run in the flat, but gets himself too low, leaving the wheel shot open for Dak. It's unclear whether the Eagles have a call for the backer to carry this route, but the confusion leaves another wide open one for Schultz. The flats are almost impossible to cover when running cover four, and here all is needed is a clear out route from the slot to occupy David in the hook curl and Cooper is there for the easy pitch and catch. Here's the proof. Rookie Joe Tyron Shoyinko jumps out to cover that hitch, so Schultz runs an option route into the space. While labeled as a high-flying vertical offense, Dallas has been almost exactly 50-50 in their run-pass splits this year. As mentioned, the Cowboys have seen a ton of deep cover for so an obvious counter to this is simply to hand the ball off. 
Pair this with the modern NFL moving to nickel as its base defense, and this leads to huge mismatches and even bigger holes for Zeke to run through. Here against the Giants, they have a numbers and angles advantage. The Cowboys can ignore 20 lurking around the box as he's too wide to stop the weak inside zone, giving Dallas a 7 on 6 advantage and leading to two double teams on the backside of the play. Dexter Lawrence does a good job to get his lid across to cut off Zeke's first read, the A-gap, so Zeke sticks his foot in the turf and cuts it back. The double team of Tyron Smith and Connor Williams drive back Danny Shelton and Williams gets to the second level to hold off the linebacker too. Both tight ends drive back 51 and Schultz peels out to cut Julian Love off from making the second level tackle. Great running and vision by Zeke to get 15. Again, good blocking and running get Zeke untouched to the second level. Same play running inside zone to the weak side and more fantastic blocking. It looks like Shaq Thompson is going to have the play dead thanks to his amazing acceleration, but Connor Williams gets a big block on him at the last second, allowing Zeke to cut the run backside where his tight ends have once again cleared a giant hole for him. Despite lining up in 12 personnel 33% of the time, teams seem adamant to play this in nickel, and Kellen Moore is more than happy to make them pay. The Cowboys have consistently abused teams' refusal to come out of nickel with two high safeties, leading to four straight games of 160 or more yards on the ground. Wow. While casual fans will know Zeke as a feature back through fantasy and his love of cereal, the Cowboys' second back, Tony Pollard, is just as important to this offense. Ranking second on the team in touches and having more than double third place, Pollard's lightning speed and strong runner's vision give the Cowboys an extra dimension in their run game. They love to use him on the jet motions, and here's a really difficult play to stop. Around the goal line, the backers have to sell out to stop Zeke on the stretch zone. So when the ball goes back against the grain to Pollard, he's one-on-one -on -one with the safety and already going full speed, breaking the tackle for the touchdown. Needing just one first down to get kneel downs, Kellen Moore calls both his backs numbers in a show of both gutsiness and artistic flair. The Panthers crowd the line expecting some sort of inside run, but Moore calls a speed option, trusting Zeke to make the correct read on Burns and Pollard to bring it home. Another thing we love about Moore's play calling is the way he gets Dak into rhythm with quick, easy reads. Simple 1-2 reads allow the offense to immediately get in front of the count and to start to build momentum. Here's a great example, with Wilson coming across the formation and turning his motion into a flat route, leaving Derwin James behind the play and an easy throw for Dak. Something Moore loves to do is surprise the opposition with CD in the backfield. Here, the Bucks try to run a complex drop zone to throw off Dak on third down. But with CD lined up in the backfield, he has a clear release into the flat and it's an easy pitch and catch for the first. Again here, they have CD in the backfield in a trips bunch formation with Elliott as the solo side receiver. No motion is needed as the unusual alignment forces the defense to show their hand or end up out of position, showing a clear man coverage. This is perfect for the Cowboys as they're trying to run mesh, although the defense does an excellent job in covering this up, so Dak smartly just takes off. This isn't just for passing gimmicks. With the right look, Moore isn't afraid to give him the ball. When it comes to the screen game, Moore is also one of the most creative in the league. Borrowing plenty from his college days, Kellen bases it around these two plays and then forces you to scramble with multiple variations of it. The first being the swing screen. This gets your screen man already running when he gets the ball in his hand, allowing him to hit the space at speed. The second being the quick screen out of bunch. Nothing fancy, just getting the ball out in space with blocking. And with the basics in hand, now the real tricks can come out. Here, they'll fake it to Zeke on the swing screen, pulling the linebackers to the near side before throwing a tight end screen the complete opposite way. And when you set up the quick flat screen, you can run a variation of a thinking football favorite, the fake bubble seam releasing your two blockers on go routes into the wide open space. Kellen even set up the double pass for Wilson with it, but he short armed the throw, which honestly should have been a long touchdown. The pairing of Dak Prescott and Kellen Moore has turned Dallas into an offensive juggernaut. 
nobody has been able to slow down the Cowboys offense so far. And looking at that schedule, I'm not sure anybody in the regular season can. Now, finally being supported by a turnover forcing defense, the sky truly is the limit for America's team. Thanks for watching and let us know in the comments below what you want to see in the next video. See you soon.